So guys, with the dungeon going live later today, today I wanted to make a video going over the artifact, more importantly one of the major perks within the artifact in the final column, that being kinetic impact. I'm going to be testing its damage, seeing how much it actually provides in terms of additional damage, and whether or not it's all that worth bringing into the brand new dungeon. Now before we get into all the details, as usual, if you're going to enjoy this video, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, I would very much appreciate it. And with that all being said, let's just jump into today's video. So. Starting off with what Kinetic Impacts actually does, it states that sustained damage with a power grenade launcher causes the combatant to emit a shockwave that damages nearby combatants, and this shockwave can stun unstoppable champions. That bottom part isn't all that important, but the sustained damage emitting a shockwave is definitely something to take into account when we're talking DPS values. I was testing in this video with an edge transit and then I also tested it with anarchy to see if the arc traps uh, damage over time effect would trigger this effect. Sadly it does not. Uh, so anarchy users you aren't going to be getting any secret additional benefits from this artifact perk. So it just seems to work on the actual impact of your grenades being fired. Now I do have bait and switch on this uh, edge transit but i wasn't proccing that in this video just to get a flat damage number uh, so that we can figure out how much damage it was actually doing and i believe i had around like 26 shots total uh, to fire at kali uh, and my total damages are as follows so the normal amount of damage that i was able to do with this grenade launcher without the artifact perk was 1,087,753 total damage but then with the artifact perk i was hitting for 1 million 132,719. Uh, so this artifact perk adds an additional roughly 44,966 damage with my testing, which came out to a percentage increase of about 4.13%. So if we round that up, that's roughly a 5% damage increase to all of your heavy grenade launchers, uh, depending on how much ammo you obviously have in them. If you're running uh, reserve mods or just have a larger magazine size, uh, you might be able to squeeze out a little bit more damage, but it's roughly a 5% damage increase with all those factors being accounted for. Uh, one final thing to note, is that obviously there are other artifact perks in this artifact that can also be boosting your grenade launcher damage one of those being concussive reload where using a grenade launcher to damage a boss damage a champion or break a combatant's shield or weakens them uh, this is going to be adding the weaken effect which will also increase the damage you're doing and then you can also take into effect rapid impacts where dealing damage with a grenade launcher temporarily increases the reload speed of your grenade launcher uh, this will cut down uh, on the time you need to spend reloading so another good perk to take advantage of there and that's basically it for the breakdown on this perk now we don't actually know as of the time of this video if grenade launchers are going to be the main strat for the brand new dungeon, obviously with the trailer, we know that Atrax is going to be playing a big part in the dungeon. And within that encounter in Deepstone Crypt, people mainly use like Lament and the uh, Worm Grenade Launcher that only has one shot on it. Uh, so those probably aren't going to be taking much advantage of Kinetic Impact. But they've probably changed their mechanic inside of the dungeon compared to what they were in Deepstone Crypt. So I literally have no expectations going into this dungeon uh, whatsoever in terms of what will be a good damage option. But... That's just a breakdown on grenade launchers, just in case they end up being really, really good, or you just want to take advantage of these perks in general. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That's it from me here today, so I'll catch you guys in the next one.